In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the SafeMoon token. So you have to go in the contracts folder and with your code editor, you need to open safemoonfork.sol. Personally, I use a code editor called Veeam, but for most people, I recommend to use VS Code. So I open the SafeMoon token in my editor and I'm going to scroll down until we find find the smart contract of a safe moon so i've created a couple of placeholder in order to make it easy for you so we keep scrolling down almost there almost there wait a second and finally we here's the smart contract at line 694 and so here every time you can customize the code I put a placeholder so if this is an optional change this is going to be change optional for example you can change the supply of the token so i just recommend to leave it unchanged but if you want you can change it for example here you could add another zero or on the contrary remove a zero but in any case keep in mind that this is the decimal part so the nine you see here has to be the same number as we have here uh, then next change is for the name of the smart contract so this is a required change so for example you call this uh, my token then the symbols this is the identifier that will be displayed by exchanges so usually this is in three letter but it can be longer or shorter so for example it could be a b c then the number of decimals so for most token we have 18 decimals but for safe moon they chose nine i recommend to leave it unchanged then this variable this is the transaction fee in percentage that will be redistributed to all holder so here that means five percent of each transaction will be redistributed to every holder but you can make it ten percent for example if you don't know how to adjust this you can leave it unchanged then we have the liquidity fee. So that's the transaction fee that will be sent to the pancake swap pool. So here we have a 5% by default. But again, for example, if you want to put 10%, you will change it like this. Let's put it back to five. Then if you want to disable completely the transfer fee that is sent to the pancake swap pool, here you change this to false. I'm going to leave it to true. Then this is the maximum number of token that you can transfer for each transaction. So if you want to change this, for example, you could add one zero here or remove it. And here 10 power nine, again, this is the decimal part. So this nine here has to match the decimals here that we see here. All right, let's keep going. Then this parameter is the minimum amount of tokens that you need in a smart contract of your fork before we trigger the transfer to the liquidity pool of PancakeSwap. So for gas efficiency, we don't do this operation for every transfer, but we wait to have accumulated a certain threshold. So this is the threshold here. This is quite a technical parameter. I wouldn't change it. And that was the last parameter that we can customize.